the middle distance championship leg two next and again we've got a big field and we've got some sharp turns it's a mile and a half nought to 90 coastal bluff at the top for kevin Meenan, palmetto for obi-wan non-fiction for kevin Meenan, global empire craig beckwith land of promise joshua sutherland altia given for matt cooper that's got the worst of the draw commodore sugars for cdj lee let loose for obi-wan's also badly drawn lakota Inzen for padraig hogan gunslinger contact for thomas rogers classic mode alex cherry Original source Adam Moore, that one's actually got the worst draw as it's off the on the offside for Satyam. 21 runners in this river for Martin Lidham, denounced Crotter for Matt Cooper, Urock Avalanche in McMilkerton, Cookie Champ for Satyam, Genus Rissa, Martin Lidham, Gitain, Escado in McMilkerton, Marble Arch, Daniel French, Ruby Swirl, Alex Cherry and Zafranga de Moore, Thomas Rogers, 22 actually. And this could be a bit of a train wreck, and away we go. And very slow to go and was all to a giver, although it might do it a favour if the jockey's got the sense to cut across the back and get to the fence. It doesn't look like he has though. And Marble Arch has gone on into the lead. So Marble Arch is in front and Denounced Crotter is in second. Then Land of Promise, Quitana Scardo is after that one. Ruby Swirl and non-fiction and Zafranga Damore, you rock Avalanche. Most of them seem to have got into within sort of six or seven horses wide but they're still losing quite a bit of ground and marble archer shot clear by about four to denounce crotter in second then non-fiction zafranga de more is next then guitane escado Eurock avalanche land of promise and ruby swirler are up there lakota inside is also there as well palmetto is after that really wide on the track he's on the offside wider still he's let loose and also fairly wide on the track is Global Empire and also the purple and white stripe Genus Rissa is quite well is quite um far out on the track as well the back marker is Commodore Sugars but it's seven furlongs still to go and Marble Arch is in the lead as they take this next turn with Denounce Crotte in second and then non-fiction Zafranga Damore is after that one Ruby Swirl and Coastal Bluff is there on the inside as well but they've got to get to Marble Arch who's still clear by about three lengths to Denounce Crotte on the inside of Zafranga Damore between the two of them non-fiction Coastal Bluff on the inside of the grey Euroc Avalanche Ruby Swirl and Palmetto are next and Guitain Escado Gunslinger Contact trying to get into it all to him given has made a bit of ground Ripper's got work to do so too as Jenna Rissa and Land of Promise on the offside trying to get into it but he's really wide on the track and it's Marble Arch who's still the leader. Marble Arch then leads as they take this final turn towards home and it's Marble Arch who's been in the lead all the way. Safest place to be today, I think. Denounce Crotte is in second. Then Coastal Bluff and non fiction of Franga de Moore. Eurock Avalanche is after that one. Palmetto is still trying to get into it, but it's Marble Arch who's still got the lead past the two pole and is a good three or four lengths clear. The Kevin Meenahan pair are absolutely flying in second and third. Coastal Bluff and non fiction. Genus Rissler has now got clear one as well and he's really eating up the ground, but it's Marble Arch who's still well clear. Marble Arch has been clear all the way. Here comes Cook. Cookie Champ flying up the centre of the track. Genus Rissa is still going well. Marble Arch is beginning to tie up. Here comes Genus Rissa. Genus Rissa on the outside of Marble Arch. And Genus Rissa is going to take it up. And he's going to take it. Genus Rissa wins it from Coastal Bluff and Cookie Champ. Marble Arch non fiction. All tier given. And all the way back to Commodore Sugars. And Genus Rissa did manage to come through from the back. And the front two both did get. We didn't get bad draws, that's their number. Let's <laughs> check the draw. Well, I think one or two of them were pretty much out of it before the race even started, to be honest. But let's take a look at the list. Genus Rissa for Martin did win it from stall 17, so maybe that does ruin my theory just a little bit. Marble Arch for Daniel French, the long time middle was second. Coastal Bluff for Kevin Meenahan was third. Cookie Champ for Satyam was fourth. And non fiction for Kevin Meenahan was fifth. When the card does roll down, we'll have a look and see where the horse is drawn, 22, 21, 20 and stuff came, 19 or to given was 8th, doesn't look like the card's going to move actually, so, oh it does, here we go, oh yeah, you can see the back 4 there, look, 22, 20, 16, 21, 18, so they probably never had any, any chance at all.